If you have a radio station with a large music library, it's useful to learn how to manage and edit multiple tracks at the same time, and that's exactly what we'll be covering in this video. Playlists are very useful for editing multiple tracks at the same time. For example, um, this is why the Scratchpad playlist exists. You can notice that you can't rename it or delete it. So it was designed to be used as a place to add and remove tracks while you're editing stuff. You can of course create your own playlist as well. Let's call this bulk edit. And now I can go ahead and drag items into it. So you yeah, can select a few items, drag it into bulk edit, then maybe locate a few more drag it into bulk edit maybe i'll do a search for specific tracks i can right click here say add to add to playlist and add it to my bulk edit playlist and i can go ahead and do this from any location i can grab tracks from the history or if i add tracks in the queue could drag it from there. The point is just to add all the files you want to edit to the bulk edit playlist. And once I have it in the playlist, now I can do some bulk operations on it. The first thing I can do is simply drag the entire bulk edit playlist into my queue. And now all those tracks are going to play in my queue in the exact order it was in bulk edit. Let me just go ahead and clear my queue again. The other thing I can do is drag it to another playlist. Let's just go ahead and clear this playlist. And now I can go ahead and drag my bulk edit into Hit Music. And this basically creates a copy of the playlist in here. So you can see all of those dots in here. And if I wanted to, for some reason, I can do it twice. And now this list will be twice as long. The other thing I can do now is say remove remove duplicates. And this will leave me with only the unique tracks available in this playlist. The other useful bulk operation you can do is by dragging items into the library filters. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, I'm just going to search again for the stingers and I'm going to add them to the playlist, scratch pad, and just go there. You can see all of them is available here. And I'm going to right click on this one, the bottom one. And you can see the media type is currently set to music. That is not correct. I want it to be set as, as a promo. So I drag and drop it to the promo. And what you will notice here now is once I edit it, that the media type has changed to promo. I can use the same um, system to select multiple tracks, drag them to promo. And you can see those tracks will have their type changed to promo. However, I can also go ahead and drag the entire playlist into promo. And this will ensure that each and every track in this playlist is changed to promo. And if I go to promos, you'll see that pretty much all of them is there. So that's an easy way to change the media type of tracks by simply dragging and drop them into the media types filter. Another useful way to edit multiple tracks at the same time is using the media item editor. Um, to showcase this, I'm just going to go to free music here and then select a few different tracks. Right click and say edit. And now you can see on the left hand side, it shows a list of tracks that I can edit. And now I can go ahead and edit each one, go to the next one, edit the information and once I'm done, I can go ahead and save. So a nice and convenient way to edit multiple tracks at the same time. 
In summary, I hope you can see how even a large library can easily be managed with Insign Broadcaster by drag and drop operations and using playlists.